Greetings, Joseph Kursky here with you now. What we're going to do is look at two different images, two different raster files inside ArcGIS desktop. And we're going to talk about how we might swipe and how we might make those images transparent or semi-transparent. What we have here is a digital ortho photo quad from 1983 from the US Geological Survey. We also have here a digital raster graphic, a scanned rectified topo map. Now the digital ortho photo quad has been rectified to serve as a layer inside our GIS project. In other words, it's been corrected for tilt of the aircraft, camera distortions, and also the relief of the landscape. Ditto for the digital raster graphic, which is a scanned rectified topographic map. So how can we look at both of these in the same project or the same map document? One of the things we can do is we can go over here to the Customize and then Toolbars menu. And one of the things on here is called the Effects Toolbar. See that? Notice on the Effects Toolbar that the data layer on the left side is important. So in this case, I want to affect my digital raster graphic. One of the things I can do is to swipe it. And so I can actually scroll down here and as I'm doing that, I'm seeing the digital ortho photo quad on the north side and the digital raster graphic on the south side. I can also do the same thing, as you can see, going from west to east. So that is the swipe tool. The other thing I can do that's really quite easy and quite powerful is to adjust the transparency. Notice on the left, I still have digital raster graphics selected. And if I adjust the transparency, notice how that makes the whatever layer you're looking at transparent or semi-transparent. In this case, if I make it totally transparent, I see the digital ortho photo quad underneath. If I make it 44%, uh, I can see some of the digital ortho photo quad underneath and some of the digital raster graphic. So those are two easy things that you can do. Now there's other things you can do here, is you can ad adjust the contrast for any image that you've got here, or any data layer really, inside the effects toolbar, but it generally works best on raster images and also on brightness. So you can do some adjustment of the images uh, as well in there. But remember, this is the Effects Toolbar, and it's out here under Customize, Toolbars, and Effects. Thanks.